Welcome to the old home studio. She ain't much, but she's a beaut. This is where I get most of the initial writing done for Ask in Alexandria. Right here, I've got stuff that hangs above me that reminds me of, of my family and my kids for the most part. Um, gifts that they've made me from school and stuff. And then when things get too stressful in here, I've got the emergency shelf. What was the first riff that made me want to play guitar? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it was the first riff that made me want to play guitar, but the first riff I remember hearing that made me, that just made my mind explode and just fill me with some kind of energy and excitement. The riff that made me want to play guitar for the rest of my life and do it for a living was um, Through the Never by Metallica. It just had it just had so much energy and so much aggression. I, I remember being a kid and hearing it for the first time and just bouncing up and down in my bed being like, this is insane. Just, you know. Like... Um, just sick, sick riff. First guitar riff I ever learned, I think, um, if I remember correctly, I think it was one of the first guitarists, most uh, guitarists my age learned, the Smells Like Teen Spirit. <laughs> It's, uh, it's one of the, the most instantly recognisable guitar riffs, I think, of all time. One of. Uh, and super easy to play, super fun to play. Uh, so yeah, I think that was the first riff I, I properly learned when I was a kid. Some of the techniques I struggled with as a kid, uh, when I first picked up, all of them. All of them. If you were, uh, anyone that's ever picked up a guitar for the first time, it feels so foreign and so strange. It's, it's still feels this way now. If I was to pick up this guitar upside down and try and play it, I just, it, nothing works. It feels weird, but that's how it felt to play anything on, on a guitar um, when I first started. I'd be listening to Slipknot or something or Pantera and I'd be hearing these like squealy sounds and I had no idea what they were. Um, and it used to really frustrate me. Um, you know, obviously it was, I know now it was a pinch harmonic, but back then, I just, I didn't know how they made that sound. Um, and I remember as soon as I figured out how to do it, it was like the coolest thing in the whole world. Um, and I felt like Zach Wild. Um, and I just used to squeal my way through, through the day on my guitar. So that, that was probably the, the one where I just didn't know how they made the sound. I didn't know what they were doing, didn't know what it was. I couldn't figure it out. When I did, poof, felt good. Wow, what were some of my favorite sort of riffs or licks to to play when I was learning guitar. I think it was it was a lot of the usual suspects really. You know, I <clears throat> I, remember, I, I just fell in love with playing uh, Fade to Black, you know. That... Um, that was a fun one. I think another classic riff that was a lot of fun for me to basically was uh um you know a crazy train i think that riff is probably one of the most iconic uh, guitarists of all time. Randy Rhodes was just such a phenomenal guitarist with such an insanely original and unique sound. Uh, I think that guitar riff obviously is going to stand the test of time. And then being, growing up in the sort of really getting guitar, into guitar in the like late 90s and early 2000s, I think good old fashioned Papa Rose. <laughs> Um, if that's even right, I can't even remember. But I, I remember when I learned that riff and I was a kid. Um, I was so proud of myself, I was so stoked. And I was like, check it out, check out what I could play. One of the first riffs I wrote for Ask Alexandria, I was still, I was a teenager, I was super young. Um, but I think it wasn't the first song we recorded as a group, or maybe it was, it was one of the first ones anyway. But the first riff I wrote was the, uh, 
the final episode riff. Oh my god. the first first riff I wrote uh, for our skin and I was well, we were all stoked on it you know it was a it was a fun riff it was a uh, heavy um, yeah it was just a fun riff to play my favorite riff Ask Alexandria riff right now um, I don't know if you'd call it a riff or a lick um, or what you would want to call it but my favorite thing um, that I've written in Ask Alexandria at the moment or one of them is, uh, it's actually from our new album, and it's the, the main sort of lick, intro lick, to um, the title track, See What's On The Inside, and it's just a lot of fun to play. Uh, to me, it just sounds beautiful, and it's, uh, you know, it's just... <laughs> This is pretty much it. I've got my uh, collection of beautiful Fender Custom Shop guitars here. Um, my Gibson Les Paul that I've had forever, some of you may recognize. Fen uh, my PRS Custom 22 that my granddad got me for my 18th birthday before he passed away. Got some records down there, nice collection of records. Um, some of Asking Alexandria's achievements over the years. Um, got some special vinyl up here in particular this Beatles Yesterday and Today uh, vinyl. Look up the story behind that one. Super special, very, very rare. It was a gift from my wife. Um, I've got an actual piece of the stage from uh, Woodstock Festival from 1969, which I think is awesome. Um, this is Faye's guitar here. She leaves it in here so she can come here and jam with me from time to time if she decides she wants to play guitar. Um, here's the at home rig. This is my uh, my pedal board, far less extensive than what I used in the studio to record the new album. But these are some of my uh, trusty go to favorite pedals. I've got my uh, Skylar reverb pedal, which is one of my favorite reverb pedals I've ever come across. I've got my Klon, uh, which is an incredible overdrive, quite hard to find. My EP booster, my AMXR Dynacomp, my Pitchfork, obviously my tuner, my wire pedal. This is just the channel selector for my Rev, which obviously comes in handy. Uh, I've got the trusty Soldano head as well, which these two heads, I pretty much get everything I need out of, out of these two. Anyway, guys, I've been Ben Bruce from Ask Alexandria. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed uh, this quick video. And uh, I hope you enjoy our new album, See What's On The Inside. Cheers.